Hey, you know, I was just sitting on my luscious, glorious couch in my living room, and I totally forgot to make a video of this. I'm so sorry. So let me give you a little backstory. Some of you may know that I love Star Wars. I kind of always have. I, I left it for a little bit, but I've always really liked Star Wars. And my favorite character, of course, is Emperor Palpatine, Darth Sidious. Probably the most evil person you can have in a movie. The biggest villain you can ever have. So, um, one day, I was sitting on the toilet, scrolling on my phone like everyone does, right? And I came across as this ad that Ian McDermott was going to be in Sioux Falls, South Dakota for this convention thing. I was like, I'm going. I don't care how much it costs, I'm going. It actually wasn't that much. It cost, you know, maybe 300 bucks for this thing for me to do in the summer. And because this was, this was this past July, and I know it's October. <laughs> I just forgot to make this, and I'm sorry for that. But, um, it's a three and a half hour drive from Fargo. So, I went that day, and I met Ian McDermott. It was so cool. So, also, here's, here's something that happened. I'll tell you what happened. It's a little story time vlog, if you don't mind, for this. I'll show you some stuff later. Um, so I got a new car that week. That's the week I got my new car. So I drove it down and then got there a little early, found the schedule of when everything was going on. I walked in the door. I'm like, oh God, I am way out of my element. This was a literal like Comic-Con. And not just Star Wars, but everything. And I'm, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not that kind of person. I'm not, I'm not that kind of fan or I invest hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars, <clears throat> maybe even thousands, to get a costume and go in a cosplay costume. I'm not that kind of person. I walk in and there's many of them. I'm like, okay, I'm just here to see Ian. Hi. So I got my badge, I did all of that, and then I went and waited in line where he would give his autograph. I got his autograph. I remember, and I was in the line, and just the general, because I didn't get VIP, because I didn't think that was something you should do, but it is something you should do if you ever go to these things, get a VIP thing. Anyway, standing in the general line, and then I hear this commotion. Yay! And you could swear, like, the president showed up. But in walks Ian McDermott. I froze in my tracks. I'm, I'm, I'm usually not one to be for a loss of words, but I was, and he was walking, you know, towards me, and they couldn't get in through one door, so he passed me and went down a hallway to the other door. And I kind of was like, hey, hi. And he keeps walking. I was like, oh my god, that was, that was the emperor. That was him. Someone who I've been watching almost my whole life is here. Someone I've, like, look up to. You know, not really, but kind of, is in my presence. And then I wait in line for two hours. But I didn't care. Right next to him was Sam Witwer, and then across was uh, uh, who plays Bo-Katan, and who plays Vic and Lawnmeyer. What's her name? Oh, uh, shoot. People are going to hate me for this. I don't remember her name right now. But, that's besides the point. There was a bunch of other people, too, at this little convention. But something I really liked about Ian, I noticed this when I was waiting in line, because I got to really watch how he kind of worked. And he gave his full, undivided attention to each person when they came in front of him. He didn't look through the line, oh god, how many more left? Oh dear god, alright, hi, how's it going? Good to see you. Yeah. None of that. You bring it in, he goes, hi, how are you? Good. Yeah, let me sign that. And you can ask him stuff and he talked to you and he would keep eye contact. It was so cool to see that show that he actually cared about the people that showed up to pay him money to do this stuff. Two seconds. <laughs> I live alone, so it's okay. All right. Years ago, I bought this. This is the Revenge of the Sith movie Shakespeare novel. 
It's the whole Revenge of the Sith movie, but in Shakespeare language. All of it. It's a really cool book. And I, 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 I dabble in Shakespeare. I've done a couple of plays of Shakespeare, and it's, it's cool stuff. Now, Ian is a full Shakespearean actor. So I thought it'd be cool if I brought this. And so I did. And, you know, I waited in line like everyone else in the general mission. I come across to the table and I hand this to the volunteer who's... You hand her the stuff and she hands it to Ian. You don't hand it right to Ian. That's kind of weird. And she's like, oh. Okay. I was like, trust me. And then he takes it and he's like, ah, good. Yes. Looking through it and stuff. He goes, where would you like it? On the front. I'm, I'm literally shooting bricks at this point. And you know, he does this. I don't know how well you can see that. He did, that's him. He signs Ian McDermott and then he goes, yeah, and he signs Emperor. I was like, thank you, sir. Th thanks. Th shook his hand and left. He goes, you enjoy it. I will, thanks. Because I couldn't get any words out. I was thinking of asking him a couple questions, you know, actually talking to him. I got starstruck. This is my first celebrity I've ever met. You know, in this area, you don't get that a lot. You don't get celebrities in this area that much. Especially from England or Scotland or whichever one he's from. I don't remember. But I can now say that I met Ian McDermott. Not only that, but you're going to go on a little journey with me. So I gotta show you some stuff in the living room. I then, immediately after getting this signed, got in line for the picture. And I got in line and then waited, you know, maybe 20 minutes. It wasn't that much because it was just a picture and you go, 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 go. So I, I got to the front and, and then they're like, oh, you again. And he was, ah, you again, come on. And then, you know, puts his arm around me. We take a picture and then I, I finally got to go like, Thank you so much, sir. It's a true honor. Truly. He goes, oh, thank you. And I leave. And then it takes forever for... Whoops. Whoa. Hello? There we go. Oh, no, that's not it. Oh, God. Where's the, where's the doohickey? That is the doohickey. There we go. Come on, get off of there. Get off. You know you want to. You know you want to. Oh, I want you to. What's going on? This has never happened before. There. Jeez. Okay. Turn off this light. Cause I'm probably not. Ooh, it's dork. This one back on the bookshelf. All right. Here's the deal. I. Oh, this needs to be turned on. Hold on. I was so happy. You can tell. Let's go here. It take, took the, oh, hi. Took them forever. Can this stay? There we go. Took them forever to print the actual picture. Am I, there we go. But, don't mind me. Oh. Look at that. Ain't that something? Yeah, so I got that taken. And then I immediately went to Walmart and bought a frame because I'm like, this needs to be framed. I'm gonna treasure it forever because it's a picture with one of my heroes. He's amazing. But then there was also the silent auction. <laughs> and I don't know if you know this about certain silent auctions, but at these events, prices get nuts. They get ridiculously high fast. But I saw something that I really wanted. Because yeah, I got the book signed, but really, no one's really going to be able to see that. You know? So I got something, I wanted something that I could display better than just a book. And that one's more for me. The book was more for me. I wanted something that everyone else could see. So I stuck around till the, the end of the silent auction and it cost too much money. I'm not gonna tell you how much, but it cost a lot of money to get, but I got it. I won a, a, an auction prize, and here is what I won. Oh, it's so cool. It's on a canvas. It's, it's a painting, and he signed it. 
So now I can say that I have two autographs of Ian McDiarmid. I also have this. I, I never talked about this either. I have this. I bought this. Uh, oh my god, light. There we go. Johnny Cash signature on that, which is really cool. It's on my new, oh, hi, how are you? It's on my new cash wall. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but I now live alone. My roommate and his girlfriend moved out, and now I have this whole place to myself. And it's kind of, oh yeah, there's my glorious, lush, it's very dirty. The season hit hard for the place I work at at Schmidt, so I haven't been able to really clean much, but I have a huge ass couch. And a huge ass, compared to some, you know. All right, anyway, I just had to, I had to give that little story time because I forgot to talk about it. And it was so amazing. It was such a good experience. I hope to do something again like that and actually maybe do a YouTuber vlog of it. But I don't know, we'll see. It was just a very amazing experience. Um, if you ever get the chance to meet your idols, some people say don't do it, but why not? Or stay can do is like, berate you with stuff, I, guess, I don't know. But, there's that, I just wanted to let you know about that, well, that's, that's happened. And it's so cool! Oh, it was so much fun. Um, and then I came back that day and then that was it. That was pretty much it. <laughs> um, yeah, if you ever want to see anything, my album is coming. It's coming, I got the recorder, I gotta to listen to tracks and mix them and all that. It's coming. But, if you ever want to see anything, let me know, alright? Until next time, thanks for everything, really. And I will see you in the next video, whatever that may be, we'll see. But, thanks again, and you have an amazing day. Take care.